Welcome to a new video of our home animation hack series. Last video, I've showed you how to hack your home switches to control your home lights. But today, I'm gonna show you how I hacked my home plug to control other devices. Let's check it out. I'm gonna use the accelerometer sensor sheet from the OneShield application. And with a simple gesture by shaking the phone, it will trigger the fan on or off according to its last state. But for now, I'm gonna replicate the system with desktop components and test it, then I will install it to one of my home plugs. So the relay board has high voltage power lines, low voltage power lines and one signal control line. First I'm gonna connect the um, plug on the um, common and normally open pins of the relay board. Then I'm gonna adjust the one shield board over the Arduino and make sure that the one shield is aligned perfectly. Connect the signal line of the relay board over pin 13 on the one shield and of course the VCC and ground. Let's test the system. So for the sketch I've included the accelerometer sensor shield and of course the one shield library. In the setup function, I have called the one sheet that begin to initialize the library, and in the loop, I have called the accelerometer that get z to grab the linear acceleration of my phone's z axis, and made some simple counters and check to turn on or off the fan for each successful gesture. Now, switch the one sheet board to the uploading mode, then plug the Arduino to your laptop and upload the sketch okay don't forget the one sheet to the communication mode plug in the fan to the plug and frankly plug the plug to the power grid open the application then open the accelerometer shield and make sure to choose the linear accelerometer and shake the phone it works okay this is one of my home plugs let me show you how I hacked it and control it with my phone's gesture. First of all, cut the power of the switch to prevent any damages. So I'm gonna unscrew the plug's cover and reach into one of the power lines, cut it and strip it to connect it to the relay board as explained before. I've already done this before, but I'm gonna show you how I wired things up. Okay, so this is the wire line. I've already cut it and stripped it, as you can see here. I've designed a 3D case to hold on to my electronic parts so that it won't look messy over my plug. You can check the links below for the 3D designs. I'm also using a double-sided um, tape so that I can stick the 3D case to my wall. And with a 9-volt battery, I'm going to power up the system.
Thank you guys for watching. Please share if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more DIY home hacks.